Yes, mate. Jin Dobre and that. Let's do some uh, ma more mathematics. We've got the binomial expansion. So in the expansion of this to the power of 7, the coefficient of x cubed is 21. Find the value of k. Now, if you want, you can go and do your n choose 0, n choose 1 for every single coefficient all the way down to n choose 7. And in this case, n is 7, right? But you don't have to do all of them. That's just long. I guess what you want to do, and it's, in fact, it starts with zero. You want to kind of get an idea or um, find the pattern, and then you just choose the appropriate one that will leave you with x cubed. So seven choose zero. So it would be four x to the power of zero. Then you would have the second term to the power of seven. Now, don't simplify that. What would this, uh, well, you simplify in your head, right? That's just one. This would give you x to the power of 7 in the denominator. But we want x cubed. So clearly, we want this term to have a higher power than this one. So my prediction is that it's going to be somewhere down here. So for example, let me try 5. I would have 4x to the power of 5. Remember, this number is always the same as this one, just to keep so you don't make a mistake. I just make sure these are the same. But the main thing is that the powers on these have to add up to 7. So if that's power 5, then 1 over kx would be 2. Yeah. Now, would that simplify to x cubed? Well, this would give me x to the power 5. This would give me x squared in the denominator. x to the power 5 drive by... Oh, it does. That was a good guess. Okay, so 7 choose 5. I'm just going to do that quickly. 21 times 4 to the power 5, whatever that is. Uh, x power 5, and then here we're going to have k squared, x squared. Now, they did say in the question that it's the coefficient is 21. So because it's the coefficient, we know that gives you x cubed. We don't even need that anymore. All of that equals 21. Well, that's nice. The 21s cancel. So you're left with 1 is 4 to the power 5 divided by k squared. Can I do this without a calculator? Yeah, I think so. Times 3 by k squared. Then you're going to root both sides. Now, to do that, without a calculator, you're going to do power half, right? So you can actually apply that power half to the 4. So you get 2 to the power 5 is 32. Jindobre in that. 